What's up? This is Matt and Matt Sports. I'm DJ Hazmat. And I'm Matty Wills. And it is Steeler Week. Rivalry Week in the NFL for the Browns. Mm. Traveling out to Pittsburgh to take on those hated Pittsburgh Steelers. One piece of good news, Ben Roethlisberger probably won't play. He's trying to, though. Yeah, he is. He is. That uh, guy's a tough quarterback over there. He is. Must be nice to have one of those. <laughs> we have one. He <laughs> keeps trying to play, but he keeps getting killed. So, as you it, you may not know, but as of right now, the Browns still don't know who's starting. They want Josh McCown to play. They're waiting as long as they possibly can. Petten wants Mike, I mean, right. Josh McCown to play. He does. Who do you want to play? I, you know... <laughs> Put me on the spot. Huh? I don't mind seeing Johnny Rand out there <laughs> only right. because I've conceded the year. I know it's not the the proper thing to say, but we're two and seven. We're mm-hmm. not gonna make the playoffs. So let's just run Johnny out there for the rest of the year and see what we got. See what we got. Right. I thought we saw what we had. I mean, we saw a very bad performance last week, but he still has as many wins as your boy Josh McCown. They both only have one win. So Pittsburgh game. Now I know it's probably going against what I just said. I do feel as if Josh McCown gives us a better chance to win this game. Really? Yeah. I mean, really? I can't go against his numbers. And we would here. love to, no matter what the season is shaping up to, beat the Steelers. I mean, we, right. we beat them You're down right. the last time we faced them. Why don't we continue that trend? And we'll never have a better chance than right now when they're minus Le'Veon Bell. Right. Possibly minus Ben Roethlisberger. Right. You're going to bring Landry Jones out there on Landry us? Jones. Uh, he... Hasn't been horrible replacing him. You know, Mike Vick was replacing uh, Roethlisberger earlier in the year, but I think that's – I don't know if Vick is hurt, but whatever the case is, Landry Jones is the backup now. But I will tell you this. They got D'Angelo Williams coming out of the backfield, and he's still a beast. No, he's a beast. And And we're still the worst rushing defense in the league. Yeah, we give up 147 yards on the ground a game. They also have Antonio Brown, who's had 17 catches for almost 300 yards last week. Wow. That, so, was, that was amazing. And no Joe Hayden, no Dante Whitner. Likely, again, both out with concussions. Well, Joe Hayden has a history of bad performances against Antonio Brown anyway. So I think we fare better when Joe Hayden's not covering him. So our former Pro Bowl cornerback is probably not going to make the Pro Bowl this year. Are, are we going to have any Pro Bowl players this year? Is sure. Joe Thomas a Pro Bowl player this year? You know, if we could protect somebody, Josh McCown would probably go to the Pro Bowl. But, oh, hey, that's another story. And I don't believe that Pittsburgh really sees as, as much of a rivalry. Not anymore, but the game should be more interesting. It was a robbery in my day. Yeah, this this new generation of Browns. I want to do a dissertation, dude. Right you now. act like that's my fault. Can I, I do a dissertation do right your now? Thing, but it's not my fault. I just want to let you know. That. Let me tell you. Let me explain <laughs> something to everybody out there. I was raised up here in Cleveland. I'm a diehard Browns fan. When I was a youngin, they used to win, and they were not considered to be the bottom feeders of the league. When I lived in the Baltimore, Maryland area, that's right. when the Browns left and came to Baltimore to become the Ravens. Initially, they would be the Baltimore Browns. There was Baltimore Browns wear and gear in the stores. Oh, how I wish I would have bought that. Really? That represents me. They started selling Baltimore Browns they gear? They did. Wow, I and didn't then know that. when it was announced that the Cleveland Browns would keep the name and colors in Cleveland, they became the Ravens. Rightfully so. The Browns should have stayed in Cleveland. But tell me what you told me off the air about how you wish – that name would have... They should have just let them keep the name. Why? Because this new expansion team situation <laughs> that we have going on, people don't think about that. In 99, the Cleveland city of Cleveland was awarded a new NFL franchise, and they gave them the old name. Right. And they have completely ruined it. Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time. But... They've ruined the name and legacy of the Cleveland Browns. The only reason I stayed with the team was because of the name. But if they had just let them be the Baltimore Browns, I would have been a Baltimore Browns fan, and I'd have two rings. Okay, but isn't there something to be said about tradition? This is Cleveland. This is your hometown. Well, this isn't that here organization, said? they could be called the Cleveland whatever <laughs> because they have not gotten it right. For 16 years, and I'm tired of it. The bottom line is, we are where we are. We're a two and seven franchise. I'm gonna apologize a... to my peoples out in Baltimore for Why? not for not riding with y'all on that fateful oh, man, day that the like... Browns moved to, oh, to Baltimore. I had a choice. You crying right now? I had a choice. Cry me a river, man. Listen, here I am. 2K15, right? 16 years later. <laughs> We still can't get it right. All right, so back to this game. Are we going to get it right? No, we, not this year. We're this not going to get done. it right if we don't beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Listen, is that – okay, so let me ask you this. 
would that salvage some of this season in your opinion? That if always we could, makes the Browns fan feel you're better right. when we beat the Steelers. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I, I hope don't care who's the quarterback. Sooner or later, we have to hope for more than just winning one or two games you're against right. a division rival. But when you're two and seven, what else mm, are you going to hope for? Right. So I think the bottom and the moral of your story is uh, play Johnny Manziel this weekend and let's see what happens. Or play Josh McCown. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You're right. So let's get our predictions real quick, and then obviously we'll get in back in touch with you guys early next week. Who you got? You want me to go first? <laughs> you Go ahead. Dude, if Josh McCown plays, I, I'll actually take the Browns. I, I think if Josh McCown plays, I'll say the Browns will win 24-17. to 17. If Johnny Manziel plays, even though the experience would be great for him, <laughs> I don't see us scoring a lot of points. I see us putting up about a 10-piece and probably Ooh. losing 27 to 10. Just because like you've lost all faith in Johnny Manziel. For this year. Wow. He's a wild boy. I don't understand. He's down there with can we play? Can we roll back the tape at the beginning of the no, season on this guy? Not right now. We don't have time for that. Uh, no. <laughs> Listen, I don't have much faith in us getting a win just based on the turmoil that is happening with the team right now. Quarterback situation, right. coaches versus uh, front office. Players split in the locker room. Defense not really stepping to the plate. But if you have any pride in yourselves, Browns fans, I mean Browns players, you will come to Heinz Field and put in work. At least beat the Steelers. The one thing going, you know the veterans on this team. I mean, I know Joe Thomas is struggling, but the true veterans on this team, even Dante Whitner, who's just now been a Brown for a short period of time, they want to win this game. They well, want to win this game. If there's no other game left on this schedule, they want to win this game. So we should get our best effort from these guys. But, but we'll if see. we get our best effort and we don't win, <laughs> <laughs> go Browns. Go Browns. This is Mad Matt Sports. I'm Maddie Wills. I'm DJ Hazmat. <laughs>